My name is Brother Benedict Ashinze from Christ Embassy, Lekki, Lagos of Five. I have a testimony and I want to share this testimony with the whole world. It all started on the 13th of July, 2023. It was very early in the morning. I got a call around 5 a.m. while I was getting ready to go to church. The call was from my brother's wife and uh, she was so much in a frenzy. In her statement, she was saying, Oh, please, I want you to pray for me because Benjamin, Benjamin is dying. Benjamin is struggling for his life. I told her to calm down. Immediately, I declared a word and I told her, I said, See, just relax that the Lord is in control. Immediately after the call, I got a call from my sister. And I got a call as well from my brother. They were calling me from everywhere and they were panicking, asking me that we have to pray. They said, please, Benjamin is struggling for his life. You have to do something. I was at peace because the previous night I was speaking in tongues. I was led to speak in tongues throughout the evening. From 8 p.m. I spoke in tongues till about, till I, I went to bed very late. So I had this quiet in my spirit. When I got to church in the morning, for the first time, I attended the sunrise service, Christ Embassy, Lekki, Lagos. In that service, I heard Dickiness Becky wanting to share a testimony, but she was told that the time was up. She insisted until our beloved pastor, Pastor Diola Philip, gave her the opportunity to share the testimony. In that testimony, she said how the Holy Ghost was prompting her to sow a seed, and she delayed. And the next day, she got a call on her way to work, and that call that her son had been involved in a motor accident. She ended up sowing that seed and ended up paying money, you know, to treat the, the son. And while that testimony was going on, the Lord was telling me to sow a seed already before I came to church. So it was the Lord talking to me at that very moment. Meanwhile, before this time, I couldn't tell her. I told her that Benjamin was in a coma, but I've been told that Benjamin is not breathing anymore. The father texted me that Benjamin is not breathing anymore and told me that they have rejected them in the hospital where they were, that they said they should go to Lut, uh, to Lasut, Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. So I told the, the, the the, I told my brother that I am on my way. So he told them there that they should put him on oxygen and they should get an ambulance. So they put him on oxygen, put him in the ambulance and they drove him to Lasso. This guy was dead for three hours. Now back to church. At the second service, I took my seed and ran to the altar. When I got to the altar, I fell face down and I was saying a strange word. I said, the God of Christ embassy, the God of the healing stream, give me Benjamin back. When I dropped that seed and I was walking back to my seat, as soon as I got to my seat, I got the message. My phone was ringing. My brother said that Benjamin is back. Benjamin is back. He's struggling for his life. That he's struggling for his life, he's struggling, that he's back. I told him, I said, calm down. While I was there sitting down, I saw a text message on my phone. It was from a business that I have forgotten about. This company wrote me on a Sunday morning, which had never happened. They don't work during the weekend. And they were telling me that, hey, we are ready to proceed with this transaction. I was like, what is going on here? Is this a joke? I was looking at it like, come on, this must be a joke. We've forgotten about this thing. Why are you guys now in a hurry like this? I was in that meeting. As the church service was going on, I grabbed a Healing to the Nation magazine as I was instructed by the business back. I took one of it. I ran out of the service. Went straight to Lasut, Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. When I got there, this guy was struggling, struggling, struggling. The bed was vibrating. He was struggling for his life. I took the healing 
to the National Magazine and laid it on his chest. As soon as I laid the magazine on his chest, this guy fell into a deep sleep. And the mother was panicking, thinking that he was dead again. I told her, I said, calm down, that I've heard countless testimonies on how this magazine made the people sleep. I said, he's sleeping, relax. It was not long. Benjamin was back to life. Benjamin was okay. Everything stabilized. The next day, we got a message that he's sitting up, he's beginning to eat, sorry, he's beginning to ask for water to drink. They ask him his name. He, real, he recognized where he was at the time. He could talk, you know. But later on, a week later, Benjamin was discharged. He was well, he was whole. He could run around, he could play. He was back like a normal child. Now, we know, even though I can't hear, tell all what happened within the time, but he was rejected from two hospitals. And when he came back to life, we knew that this was as a result of the prayers, the seed, the healing to the Nation magazine. And the business that I was talking about that wrote me as I was going to sit down. By Monday, that next day, they were all over me. And as I'm talking to you, they paid amazingly diverse testimonies right now that I cannot give in this, in this particular um, video. But the testimonies have been amazing. What has happened? I want to thank our man of God, Pastor Chris I want to thank him so much for the opportunity, countless opportunities for us to demonstrate our faith in Christ. The healing stream is an amazing vehicle that God has provided us. I want to thank the healing school partners. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for the wonderful work you're doing. Benjamin was dead. Now Benjamin is alive. He's whole. Benjamin can do everything again. Benjamin is moving around, doing everything that he usually would do before. But this was a child that was dead. This was a child that we knew if it was not for God, Benjamin is gone. But God has given us Benjamin back. Thank you very much for the work that you're doing. God bless you. I'm impressed of the Lord that there are some people at this very moment while this is going on that some of you are on the world. Right now you want to give something special for the healing stream. Some of you already gave, but yet in your heart you want to give something for this healing stream. And there's a reason why you want to do it act on it right now maybe maybe it has to do with someone you're praying for maybe it has to do with your own health maybe there's a reason that the spirit of god is impressing you to do this and probably you're in the service and what you want to give is not with you and you want to make a pledge and connect yourself to that go ahead and do it and I pray that the Lord will grant you your heart's desires in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever purpose it was that you have to give that seed, the Lord grant you your heart's desire. Amen. To partner, please visit www.healingstreams.tv partner or call any of the numbers now showing on your screen.